Warning, these are just theories based on the limited information available. We could be completely wrong about all of this and that's okay. With Bandai Namco's latest website update for their upcoming fight in the game Dragon Ball Fighters, many fans, including us, have been speculating about the number of possible characters for the game. While this is going to be a rough estimate based only on how the website has laid out the character slots, as well as Arc System Works previous games, we're going to estimate that the game will have roughly 17 or 18 characters at least, including some DLC slots. Here's why. If you take a look at the website's character page, you'll see that Piccolo's character slot starts a new row instead of putting it next to Krillin's character slot. Granted, it could just be a design choice, but considering the fact that this isn't your average Dragon Ball game with over 100 characters, it could mean that the roster is going to be small, especially given Arc System Works track record. We took the liberty of completing the roster select image based on its current layout, giving us a total of 17 characters. We also believe that 18 characters could be possible if the rows are evened out and they place an additional character next to Krillin. Eh, and for all we know, once they exceed 17 confirmed characters, the roster layout could completely change. They could add another row, they could add two other rows, but for now, we'll stick to the current display. So let's dig a little deeper into the details of the character page. When viewing the file names for the website, you'll notice that some characters have a suffix next to their file names. For example, Goku and Vegeta have SS at the end, which seems to refer to their Super Saiyan forms. But Trunks is just Trunks for some reason. Gohan has a Y, which could imply Young, and Majin Buu has a Z, which we doubt stands for Dragon Ball Z. While on the subject of Buu, the Z suffix could hint that we're getting either Kid Buu or Super Buu down the line. Our guess is probably going to be more on Kid Buu, due to him being a more popular version of the character. Now while I do doubt that they'll add Kid Gohan, we can probably safely bet that Mystic Gohan will make an appearance in the game. As for Goku, considering that the Super Saiyan 3 transformation is already part of his moveset, I doubt that Super Saiyan 3 Goku will be added as a separate character, so the more obvious choice would be Super Saiyan Blue forms for both Goku and Vegeta. Or we could get a left field pick like Kid Goku, a character we at Shonen Games will love to see in action. Eh, his final name could be similar to Gohan's, that being Goku Y. While we don't know for sure what characters will be added into the game, the suffixes in the file names definitely seem to give the indication that there will be various versions of certain characters. If that wasn't the case, then character file names like Goku and Vegeta would just be labeled the same way as Trunks, they'd just be Goku and Vegeta. Another point that we wanted to add is that based on the developer's history, at least 4 of the 17 slots, or however many slots we actually end up with in the future, could be DLC characters that would likely be released during or around the first month of the game's release. Some examples that we found include Leo White Fang, who was announced before the game's release and available to download around 2 weeks after the game's launch. There's also El Felt Valentine, who released as free DLC 3 weeks after release, but later increased to $8 USD. A similar situation happened with Marie, the new character from Persona 4 Golden, when she was announced as a free DLC for the first few weeks of P4A Ultimax. Comparing Persona's website around the time it first launched to the current version of the site, you can see that they only kept adding boxes and had an arrow to view the rest of the characters. Additionally, you can check out this archive for how Guilty Gear's character page looked in October 2014, compared to now. Based on the previous cases, we assume that the Dragon Ball Fighters character page could receive a similar treatment and follow a similar DLC pattern to previous Arc System Works games. When it comes to releasing new fighting games, Arc System Works has a history of releasing a few characters during the series' first entry, and continuously adding characters as the series expands. Guilty Gear took over 5 installments to get over 20 characters. We have game series like King of Fighters, which by King of Fighters 98 featured over 40 playable characters, and for King of Fighters, that was only the beginning. Even looking at games like Sengoku Basara X, which only released a few years after Sengoku Basara 2 Heroes, only went with 12 characters. The roster for Hokuto no Ken was small too, as it only had around 10 playable characters. Then comes Blaze Blue, easily one of their most popular franchises alongside Guilty Gear. When Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger was released for arcades in 2008, the game only featured 12 characters. Blaze Blue Continuum Shift only added 3 new characters to the base game, and another 3 over the span of a year as DLC. Based on the information that we're getting from the website, and just that, nothing else behind the scenes, Expecting Dragon Ball Fighters to have over 20 characters off the bat might just be wishful thinking, but hey, what's wrong with wishful thinking? So with V-Jump coming this month, we're likely to see an announcement for a new character, which will be the 10th playable character in the beta more than likely. Who do you think will be in? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if the game only did have 17 or 18 playable characters, who do you think would fill the next 8 slots? Are you hoping that it's going to have more than that? I mean, we are. Dude, just between you and me, we're hoping that it's going to have like... 25 or 26 or something crazy like that. 
Let us know in the comment section below and like the video. Like the video if you think it's going to have more than 17 and we're wrong. Dislike it for absolutely no reason. Don't dislike the video for any reason at all. For now, that's all we got. Make sure to check back next week for V-Jump. See you later.